Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today we're going to be recapping day 11 of Houston Texans training camp. Let's get into it. Really solid day for the Houston Texans in the last day of training camp before the preseason starts. Thursday, the Texans match up against the New England Patriots um, in Foxborough at 6 o'clock. I'm so excited, Texans fans. I want Okay, before I get into today's training camp, I want you guys to let me know Number one, what you're most excited to watch for in the first Houston Texans preseason game. And also, I want you guys to let me know um, how many... Uh, this is a weird question, but I want you to guys let me know how many points the Houston Texans score on Thursday. Put that in the comment section before um, before I get started. So, today was a really good, you know, really good day of camp going into this Houston Texans preseason uh, preseason opener. If you do not know, the Texans do have, I mean, going into the game day, the Texans have travel day on Wednesday, tomorrow. Um, so they do, they will not be practicing tomorrow. And then Thursday is game day. So this was the last day of training camp until the, you know, the first game again in New England. I'm excited, man. Um, see CJ Stroud play, say, see Willie Anderson play CJ Stroud, another great day of camp. You know, CJ was okay last, you know, yesterday, after three dominating previous days, CJ wasn't great, but he wasn't bad. Um, I mean, he was he. I was. I would say CJ was probably closer to bad yesterday than when he, when he was good. But CJ had a solid day yesterday. But CJ did bounce back today. Had a really good day um, and good command too. Went fifteen for twenty one, even when the pocket uh, got a bit muddy. Um, good, really good work from him today. Um, I mean, just, just great, great science with CJ Stroud. He's been balling out and I can't wait to see him on Thursday night, see what he does. It's a hard place to play in Fox, bro. Good defense as well. I would assume some Patriots defensive starters will be playing on Thursday. I'm not sure I haven't read anything on, you know, who's playing for the Patriots, but the Patriots have a good defense even if all their starters aren't playing. He's facing a good defense on Thursday. He's playing in a hard place to play. I, I think this is going to be a good challenge for C.J. Stroud. Uh, but moving forward, I mean, the wide receivers were playing good today. I mean, guys like Nico Collins, who had three catches in the scrimmage or in the, you know, in the, in the drills today. Uh, John Mechie, Noah Brown, John Mechie, Noah Brown, Robert Woods, and even Tank Dell were having all solid days. And he, I mean, really everybody. I mean, Honestly, you really haven't seen any wide receiver struggle for the Texans in training camp. I mean, besides Robert Woods, Robert Woods has really been the only guy for Texans training in Texans training camp at the wide receiver position that, you know, will have impact for this Texans, you know, wide receiver group um, that has not efficiently been amazing. And Robert Woods easily had his um, his best day of camp today, uh, made a couple of good catches uh, and not only that, I want to go back to C.J. Stroud. What I read today is that C.J. Stroud was doing great on third downs today. Uh, and the tech, just the Texans in general were doing great on third downs. Um, but And the, they were also doing drills like they were doing um, no, no timeouts. You have to... You have to go up the field, kick a field goal drills, which I thought those were really cool going into, you know, Thursday's game, which, you know, could definitely happen in Thursday's game. Um, I mean, yeah, uh, CJ Stroud looked great and, and, um, the his wide receivers looked great today. John Mechie, Tank Dell looked great. John uh, Mechie, Dell, um, Me so Mechie, Collins, Dell, Woods, Hutchin Hutchinson, and Noah Brown all had great days at the wide receiver position. Uh, and CJ Stroud had a good day. Even Damian Pierce was out there making some catches at the offense. Everybody was, you know, receiving out there. Dalton Schultz even had some solid catches to the Texans as well. Uh, but move. let's move on to, you know, we'll get to the defense in just a minute. But George, George Fant, who is now going to uh, be replacing Titus Howard at right tackle, uh, you know, he was okay today, but at, at the same time, he really struggled. Uh, Jerry Hughes was, you know, beating him up a little bit, brought him to the ground a couple times. Jerry Hughes was really, really um, taking advantage of George Fan, and George Fan had his good moments at right tackle today. As George Fan could easily be the first, you know, the, for the first game, I would think, um, 
they, they, they are saying there is a chance Titus Howard plays week one or week two. But honestly, I am thinking, CJ, I, I'm thinking that Titus Howard's Texans starting right tackle will miss the first two to three weeks of the season. So I think George Fant could be the starter at right tackle for the Texans for the first uh you know, first maybe three weeks of the season, probably two. I, th- I think um, you will see George Fan at the starter. Uh, I mean, you gotta you gotta get him a little comfortable at that right tackle position. It's not like he hasn't played that before. He's been a starter before with the Jets. He's been really good. But you know, this is something you know that he you know I, I don't think he really expected to be a starter this year for the Texans, especially with Titus Howard at that right tackle position. Um, but I mean, we'll see. I think he should be a good you know a good. You know, I think he, I think he should be good for the Texans, but I mean, I think it should be an interesting thing to watch. But um, we'll see if he's able to bounce back after a struggling day. Let's get into some defense. Um, Taylor Ward had a uh, a pass breakup on the first throw of the game by CJ, or the first throw of the practice by CJ Stroud was nearly an interception. Um, I love Jimmy Ward; he's been bowling out through camp. But I'm really glad Jimmy Ward didn't get this interception here. Because, I mean, if if C.J. Stroud, his first throw of the day would have been an interception, maybe we would not seen him have uh, as good as a day as he had going 15 for 21. So I'm glad that, that was just a, pre- a pass break up there by Taylor Ward. Christian Harris, I just made a video on who uh, um, on why he's a rising star. Go check that out. Um, he had two pass, pass breakups today. I think he's going to be a, a – I think he's going to be a breakout star for the Texans. Um, I mean, yeah. Um, anything else? I mean, Jalen Petrie was dominating the run defense today. He he. It, it is been reported by Cole Thompson on Twitter um, at Mister Cole Thompson that uh, it looks like his run defense has really improved. Which his run defense was okay last year, but not as good as as it, as it looks to be this year. Um, so, I mean, yeah, there's been some good signs for the Texans. Davis Mills didn't look too bad today, just not as good as C.J. Stroud. So another day where C.J. Stroud is better than Davis Mills in this open quarterback competition, which it, it kind of feels like at this point C.J. Stroud is going to be the starter. But it, it feels like maybe Davis Mills is not out of the woods yet. I mean, I, I think C.J. Stroud is the starting quarterback. But at the same time, D'Amico is not announced a starter for week one of the regular season. So... I mean, I don't think has a Davis has a chance, but I mean, realistically, if he plays well, he could still have a chance to get that starting job. So he had a solid day. He had a solid day today, but CJ Stroud again was way better than him. And I mean, yeah, Jalen Petrie, uh, Jimmy Ward, and I mean Derek Singley Jr. as well. He was looking great on the defense today. Nobody could get away from him. There was not one throw that there was not one wide receiver that Stingley did guarded today. That when Stingley was guarding them, the ball never went Stingley's way today. Uh, that's how good Stingley was playing. Whether he was facing up against Tank Dell or Robert Woods or Nico Collins, uh, those were the three guys he was facing up today. Derek Stingley n- never was the ball thrown to either Tank Dell or Nico Collins or. Um, or even, you know, Robert Woods, when Derek Singley Jr. was guarding those three guys, he was on locks today. Uh, probably Derek Singley Jr.'s best day of training camp. So Stingley, Jimmy Ward, and Jalen Petrie have great days uh, on the secondary. Christian Harris also had a really solid day. George Fant at right tackle, who's looking like he's going to be, you know, the, the starter at right tackle for the first week to three, the first week or two of the season maybe three um had a struggling day but at the same time he he did show something cj stroud looked really good the wide receivers looked really good damian pierce looked really good and same thing goes for dalton schultz uh you, you and and also the word the word has gone around that uh D'Amico ryan's was upset with the, the way his defense played today i thought the defense played good so it shows what D- D'Amico ryan's is expecting from this defense is you know, some players looked really good for this defense today. Will Anderson looked good today. Christian Harris looked good today. Jalen Petrie looked good today. So did Jimmy Ward. So did Derek Stingley Jr. But even though those guys who were the top guys on this defense, even those guys had a great day, 
D'Amico Ryans is still upset and wants these guys to play better. It shows how much D'Amico Ryans expects for this team, and I think it shows how good this Houston Texas defense will be this year. You guys your thoughts. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and let me hear your thoughts on day 11 of Texans training camp. Peace out. Go Texans.